a proposal to put the O3 optimization into the Linux kernel for all architectures has been made and on Linux lore with some emails between developers and maintainers of the Linux kernel has been going back and forth talking about allowing O3 as an experimental switch for compiling the kernel, reasoning out that it might expose unwanted regressions to the user and proposing to make a second patch eventually where allowing O3 by removing depend on arc string, which is an option to control the type of CPU which code is assembled on. The reason behind this series is to open up O3 optimization so that the bugs related to it, both compiler and related to kernel related bugs can be discovered by the eyeballs wanting to improve the O3 experience as it might be beneficial to both compilers and kernel space. This has been attempted before, note here, unfortunately nothing ever came of it. So this proposal by a Linux community member has been made and quickly shot down by Linus Torvalds. Let's take a look at what he had to say about this proposal in a later post. It's quite interesting to say the least. So this is Linus Torvalds reply. But before we get to it, make sure to smash that like button for more of these videos. Honestly, let's just remove O3 entirely. For those of you that are not familiar with O3, it's an optimization for the compiler in order for it to optimize your code so it runs more efficiently. Well, the argument has been in the past and still to this day that O3 just doesn't give you enough benefits as O2, but introduces more bugs. So lots of people do not go and compile their code with O3, including the Linux kernel. And as Linus says here, enabling it and not even build testing the result is just about the worst possible case. That's just horrible. The argument that but ARC uses it is not an argument. It always has been a bad argument and ARC needs to just fix whatever it is that made it an issue, likely already fixed with a compiler upgrade. So strong beliefs by Linus here and there is no way I would ever accept this as I let people try it when, as mentioned, just use the KC flags O3 if you want to. And O3 has a long history of generating worse code than O2. So as mentioned, Linus just does not believe that we get much benefit from using O3 in actually we get some form of regression instead potentially generating worse code or even non-effective code. What they're saying here is you can manually compile with O3 if you want to by setting the kernel flag dash O3 instead of O2. So continuing on, I will not be taking these kinds of patches without some very serious explanations of why O3 is suddenly become acceptable again. Those explanations had better be more than let people try. They should have an in-depth actual performance numbers for real load, not some made up bigger is better logic. So very strong stance by Linus here. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. I understand where Linus is coming from. The Linux kernel is not something where you just test code or optimizations on because it can affect millions of people who use the Linux kernel in their operating systems. And it's interesting that the O3 compiler optimizations keep coming back as one of these cases where people just want to test it against the kernel and allow the masses to also test it as well without much practical data. Not saying that O3 isn't something that should be tried, but it should be tried amongst maintainers and developers and testers well before it's introduced to the public for testing. And I think that's the argument here that Linus is trying to make. Altogether, I don't think we're going to be seeing the O3 optimization coming to make the Linux kernel run more efficiently anytime soon. But let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Also make sure to subscribe below, hit that notification bell for more Linux and programming videos. Make sure to like the video, catch me in a great community on Discord, and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.